everyone and welcome to the Notability channel. Thank you so much to Notability for having me as a guest on their channel to show you guys exactly how I make my notes on my iPad and how I learn from them to prepare for my medical school exams. Let's get straight into this video. Part one is on making the notes. So I found that at medical school, I can't learn from the lecture slides alone because at times they can be really confusing and really, really long. So instead I prefer to have my own set of summarized notes, which I've made myself and I can refer back to if I'm ever confused about anything. By making these notes, it also forces me to learn the content and actively work on summarizing the info, which means it stays in my head more. Now let me show you guys how I actually make these notes. So firstly I start by labelling my notes page with the lecture number and title. This helps me keep track of what lectures I have done and also means it's really easy to locate my lectures using the search tool. As you can see Notability has lots of different features including the pen and highlighter which means I can get really creative with my titles. This might seem like a waste of time for some of you guys but it actually makes the note taking experience fun for me which means I'm more likely to actually go through my lectures and make my notes. Once I'm done I then go through my lecture and start making my notes. I do this by summarizing the key info on the slides and writing it down in a way in which I can understand. I also add diagrams and images to help with my understanding. I make sure I divide my notes into very clear topics and subjects to make my notes easier to understand and go through. It's important to keep your notes concise but ensure that you still have enough detail to clarify any confusion. In high intensity exam periods you want to flick through your notes for wider understanding so everything you're looking for should be in one place. Once I'm done I highlight all the key information which allows me to go through my notes again but also helps me in the future when revising which I'll get into later. The Notability Highlight tool is really cool because if you highlight over something again and again the highlights will become bolder which means you can make certain information stand out more than others. I organize my notes into folders called subjects based on the module. For example, here I have a subject called CR2 for my CR2 module. I then group all the subjects from one year into dividers. For example, here I have my year two divider. During my A-levels, I had two really big folders with every single revision note inside, but this was a lot to get through when it came to revision, which wasted a lot of time. And this is why organization is key in efficiency. So keeping your notes organized like this really helps. Now that you know how I make my notes, let's learn how I revise from my notes. So now that I have these notes, I found that the best way I learn from them is by making flashcards. Having flashcards, I can go through helps me actually revise instead of saying I'll go through 10 lectures today. So I simply open up my summarized notes on my iPad and make flashcards on the key information and the information I think I'm likely to get tested on. Now this is where the highlighting from earlier comes in handy. Like I said when I'm making my notes I highlight the key information and this means when I'm going through the notes to make flashcards all I need to do is look at the highlighted information and make flashcards on those. I make my flashcards in a question format more specifically in a single best answer format because this is what majority of my exam questions are like. For example, the question might say what cranial nerve supplies the lateral rectus muscle and then the answer will be cranial nerve 6. That's a bit of a random example but you get the gist. Now this is where your self-discipline comes in because you can make all these flashcards and not go through them but then you would have wasted all that time making the flashcards so make sure you go through them. If I get a flashcard wrong and I don't understand the answer, I make sure to go back on my iPad and find the notes page which the flashcard came from and make sure that I understand the content. Again this is really important because you can't just skip the questions you get wrong because if that comes up in the exam you're going to regret not figuring out what the correct answer was so if you get a flashcard wrong take five minutes out go on your iPad and figure out what the correct answer is and why. Part three is going to be all about my top tips for making notes on Notability. So I've been using Notability to make my notes for over a year now and I absolutely love it so I thought I'd share some of my top tips to to make your notes taking experience that fits better. Tip number one would be to make sure you utilize the organization features on Notability. So make sure you actually divide your notes into the subjects and dividers so that your notes are easy to locate when you need them. You don't want all your notes in one big messy folder where everything's so hard to find so just divide them and make your life easier. Number two would be to decide what type of paper best suits your notes taking. This can be squared, 
dotted lined or plain paper in varying different colors the variety in options means you can really personalize your notes to optimize your note taking experience number three would be to explore the different pen and highlighter types and colors you can have non-pressure sensitive and pressure sensitive pens as well as dashed pens and dotted pens and all these different pens come in lots of different colors in fact you can even make your own colors all these different features add that extra level of personalization to your notes and allow you to make your notes exactly as you want them. Tip number four is to use the favorites tool to make your note taking experience easier. When you select your different tools you can add some of these to your favorites bar including the pencil, highlighter and eraser. This means you can have all your favorite tools together in one area that you can easily access instead of continuously changing your tools at the top. This means you can take notes in a more smooth and efficient way. Tip number five, which I think is actually really cool, is to use the recording tool. For example, if you're in a lecture, you can use the recording tool to record the audio whilst making your notes. You can then re-listen to this audio at different speeds when you're going through your notes, which can be useful, for example, if you want to hear the lecturer's explanation of a specific topic. Tip number six is more important than you think and this is to make sure you back up your notes. On Notability you can back up your notes in many ways including OneDrive, Dropbox and Google Drive and this is really important to ensure that you don't lose any of your notes so make sure you do it. And that is about it. I really do hope you guys found this video useful and discovered a few new features of Notability that can help you with making your own notes. Thank you so much to Notability for having me on their channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you guys like comment and subscribe also don't forget to check out the other videos on the notability channel but yeah that's about it bye guys